Hello everybody, it is your own everyday speedy zero here. We are recording and we are going to do a mutations video. This video is gonna show you guys how to get mutations on your dinosaurs. As you see here, this trike here has a mutation. If I go in and you hit view ancestors or show ancestors, you'll see one out of twenty at the top right. That's how many mutations he's had he's had. So his mutation is his blue on his face and the side, and then he also has blue, well, you can't see them here, but he has blue toenails, he has blue face, and he has some blue on the sides. You can get all sorts of different mutations by breeding. You can get mutations like this, or if I come over here, I have some Ankies. These are twins, and I come in, they will have open up one out of 20 mutations in the top left. And their mutation is not color. Well, I don't think it's color. It might be. It might be this weird, like, orange here. But it doesn't really stand out. It's the same color as Yankees. That's what it might be. But everything comes with a mutation of melee damage, move, movement speed, weight, food. Just all the different stats. So this one got... These got melee mutations as stats. So you can either get just a stat mutation or a stat and a color. I think... Well, this one got a stat and a color, but I don't know what co stat it got. Those over there got the... Well, I think they have might have the color. I'm not sure. You have to use the arc wiki, and it'll tell you what natural colors. I haven't looked up these. I don't know if the orange is a natural color. I don't think. Let me check the... So, you see, this is, what, this is the way to check. If it's a color like that, you look at the parents. Okay. So, these are the parents. You have tan legs, and you have red legs. So, 100% it's the leg mutations. Those orange legs are the mutations. So you can see right here. Because it doesn't have anything. So I'm going to... So, you, if you do have a mutation like this, you probably should imprint it. It's going to help out a lot. I have my stuff set up to be a lot quicker because it's single player. There. So if you were doing it, I would recommend setting it up as... Well, setting it up with better rates for single player. You could just leave it how it is. I set it up because I turn single player settings off and then just set the settings I want. So, I have a bunch of T-Rex eggs here. These are from very high level T-Rexes. And I'm going to throw all these. Well, let's throw, let's see, that was five. We'll do, actually I need to move these. These are not very goodly. goodly. These are not placed very well. So we'll pick all these up, and let's throw them down here. So I have incubation in here. You can probably do this with torches, depending on where you live. I have chosen to do it with air conditionings, which if you are very... If you, if you have the materials, I would recommend doing air conditionings, not torches. So I have it set so it'll raise it pretty quickly in about a minute. So we can go ahead and take some more of these eggs here just plenty of them and these should help out once we're done so there's 10 we'll put down another 10 so we'll just stand we can just do it back here actually now that I think about it so we go in here just go there so that's good you can step back do another 10 well not 10 I think that was 4 5 there's the 5th Okay, that one, I want to move this one. It's not very well pl placed. We'll put another one here. So by the time we start doing this, some of these eggs should start popping, and we should see if we have mutations. So right now I can just take the rest and put it back the berries. I have enough weight. So here we have plenty of Rex eggs here. This takes a very long time to do on official. So if anybody's doing this on official, yeah, it takes like a long time to get this many Rex eggs. Oh my goodness, I don't even even want to try. I have it set so it's like a minute to three minutes. They have to wait in between each breed. So here are some. So that was very good because straight off the bat we got an orange mutation which was not expected. So there now I'm gonna have to bring all these over here and ew, this is gonna be tough. Come here. Come here. It's baby T-Rexes. 
<coughs> so what you want to do in your babies, you go in, you disable wandering, and turn your follow distance to the lowest. It helps out a lot. So disable wandering, follow distance to the lowest. You got to do that with all of them. Oh, okay. There. Ooh, more babies. You see, I think these are triplets, no, twins or triplets or something. Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, there's too many. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my goodness. That orange on the back might be a mutation because my parents, well, these babies' parents don't have that. Uh. Now, I got very lucky this time. I've seen people that do this like 10 times and they don't get any mutations. I got very lucky and got many mutated T Rexes. Here, let's just imprint on all these guys. You can be able to tell because you don't have disable wandering. You don't have disable wandering either. Here. So, uh, oh my goodness. See, this is what happens sometimes. So, if that, well, since I'm in a single player world, if that ever happens, I'll just come in here. Chicken Man Fly. And, uh, unfortunately, I can't actually fly. Here. That didn't work, so I'll just, I'll have to put Ghost. Actually. You don't want to get these commands mixed up or else it's going to go pretty bad. So I'll just go walk. Make sure that my dude, okay, he's walking. Now, you're going to want to put Ghost on a single player. Ghost will make you fly, and it will also allow you to go through objects. I just do, so now I can move, come up, and hit walk. And it'll just drop me on the floor. I just hate when that happens. It's the worst. So we have one that is over here. So we're going to have to imprint on this baby. Sable wandering, and whistle off. Stop. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's get you over here. And you two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to feed some of these things, so I'll come back in once I've sorted some of that stuff out. Welcome back. We are ready. To oh. continue hatching some more eggs. We're back on our little trike here. I thought you guys might want to see what we've gotten accomplished with these. So, we have these two here, which have the pink underbelly. We have this orange one. Unfortunately, he asked for galley cable. I don't have. So, I had to go and tame some galleys and put them in here. They, I forgot to pick up the egg. Great. Uh, and we have this one, which so far I'm still imprinting, but this guy, you can't tell his mutation from the outside. From, well, down here. His mutation is that line down his top. It's not very good at all. I think some, of, I've seen some with that color naturally. But if I can't untoggle the hood, this guy, he wants care in six minutes, and he's 70%. So he's the only one right now who's still going along with the care. And now we're going to come here, get on Yondu, our blue trike. He's not a very good level. I was just breeding to get the eggs, and he came out. So, we're going to do, let's do this carefully, and do three at a time. So let's do these three, and let's prepare the next three. So we'll do three, then another three. Look at the power of imprinting, guys. This is how it does. This trike is almost encumbered, and look how fast he's running. This is about the normal speed of a trike. And he's encumbered. You better give me those so by the time we hatch all these eggs, he's going to be able to go full speed. So I think now is a good time to do the... Oh my goodness, get out of here. Ew, disgusting, nasty little T-Rex. So now we can put the next three. 
while these are going, I'm going to have to throw away some of this prime here. Prime. I don't want all this prime. It's junk in my inventory. That's what it is. So the meat, I don't need. And the hide, I don't need. I got plenty. So now we have three more. Let's get the next three eggs ready. Ooh, some of these are already almost like half hatched. So these should hatch in a little bit. How much are these gone? We'll let these go to 50%. Mm, it should be about. So these are. Okay. So we can probably do the next batch here. Let's do these here. And then. These are almost done here. Once we get these, we'll be able to see if we got mutations. And we're trying to do this in the easiest way possible so that we could tell if we got mutations. This one is mutated. And these two are going to die. Because if it's 246 or 247, I 100% know it is not mutated. So far we have one. Oops, wait, we need to put this guy follow. So this guy is not mutated. He's going to die, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry. But he's going to die. So those two here. So now we should hatch these up. This one's mutated. Oh my goodness. No, did I hit the air conditioner? So basically, if it's 246 or 247, then we 100% know it is <coughs> mutated. Not mutated. So I know, I know he has a mutation. Oh, I leveled up. Whoa, great. Help. Okay. So you, sunny little T-Rex. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna whistle all and follow you. Just, just, just. Oh man, he's going mad. You need to get on my follow. Get on my follow. Perfect. Two four seven. Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry, buddy. You gotta die. This is a very good pike. That's why I'm able to kill him quick. It's very lag here. I need to sort out all these dinos. What level are you? Two four seven. Uh, kill him. Probably should bring something else to dispose them. That's not my pike. There. Now, we need to take this boy off wandering. She's just no 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 no. What the what is he doing? Yeah. Okay. So this guy, let's see. He does have a mutation. What color is it? Well, it looks like. Oh, his stats are fine. Oh, that's you guys. Have you guys? Yay, they, they gave me another egg. Thank you. Oh, do you keep producing galleys? So now, you can see you, little boy. Probably does not. Yeah, in 1 minute 55. That's fine. So we got one more egg here. So, so far, this mutation doesn't... Can you tell? There's no color difference on it. There is... I don't see any color difference. So if we come in... He has the same health, the same... No, it was an oxygen... Mu this guy got an O2 mutation. So, whenever I get a mutation, I'll normally put like this. O2 mutation. Mutation. Yeah, there. So this guy has an O2 mutation. This guy over here, I think we saw his mutation... Yeah. He's got a little bit of a purple back. Yep. That's his mutation. So now we gotta move him over here. Let's get him over here. 
they're gonna well these guys are mutating up all these T-Rexes basically these are one is 246 and one is 247 so they basically have exactly the same stats but there's like one of them has better food by like a level I think so they're very very similar so that's why I'm saying if it's 249 it's because well, ever I think a mutation goes up by two levels I'm not sure I think it does okay so we're here let me this is something that you should do with your some of your babies like just uh, here you get a dino like this just well not not like this but just any dino I'm gonna whistle follow whistle follow There. Oops. Whistled the wrong thing, so we'll put you to follow. And you to follow. I really don't want that O2 mutation, so you know what? Fortunately, we'll keep him. He's fine. This guy's follow distance is not changed. So sorry guys, we this is this is getting a bit long. Here, now we're gonna continue. On, oops, I'm out of water. Here, so we'll put some T-Rex eggs to incubate here while we go. So I'm gonna go get water. When I'm come back, there should be here. There's five. Let me do six. Actually, five is fine because we need. One more here. And three here. Or four. Whatever. It's fine. So now we're going to go ahead and water. By the time we come back, there should be the perfect amount of T-Rexes that we need. So this guy, you see. We could also just do that. Now he's 80% like imprinted. I know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, great. It's raining. How's it raining inside? It's not letting me. You have no idea. Here. Oh my goodness. Can't I fill up? There we go. Okay. So let's see. Mm, these are about to come. <coughs> Sorry. We're, we have one, two, three. Okay. So now it should be about time. Put the next set of three. And then we need to grab the griffin. I'm only claiming ones that are 248 or 47. Actually, you know, I shouldn't use the griffin. I'm just gonna use the trike. Cause we need those X we need that XP on my trike. Mr. Yondu here, the sweet trike. 246. Oh, I'm sorry, Actually, you know what? Ooh. You're a color mutant. And... That's about it now. So what we can do is go... Oh my goodness, I need to... Just... There we go. Kick some of these baby T-Rex butts. Oh my goodness, I can't kill him. There. This is about the same as my pike. Here, we're gonna annihilate him like instantly now. What? He didn't die? You know what? We're just gonna need to type me and drop off. Okay. Oh, great. We lost that mutation. Now we're going to have to go grab the McQuetzal over here. And go down. 
And grab the mutation. No. No, no, we're fine. Because we have green. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Stinky mutations, like this guy. That nobody wants. Boom. And we get amazing mutations. Like this boy here. We'll leave that buddy alone. We need to disable wandering and oh my goodness, get off me. Wait, okay. Now we're gonna get on the Easter buddy and There. Oops. I need him to go and follow. Why isn't he going to follow? Is it because I need to unfollow? And then... Oh my goodness. No. These Xbox things are so hard. So, there you guys have it. Those are the... That's how to get mutations. As you can see there... There's a mutation that stands out very well. It is... Oh, I'm not feeding you that. It is this green T-Rex here. He's very... He looks very nice. As you guys can see. So. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. And that will be all, folks. So, bye!